What's your biggest takeaway through three games as a group? We'll get to personal in a minute, but just the idea of what you really like, that one thing that has maybe given this group success. I think, yeah, consistency. I think, you know, that's that's a big thing we, we talked about during training camp. And I just feel, you know, we the the way we handle ourselves, you know, during these three games, I think we're a hard team to play against. Like I, like I said, you know, before, I think that's the main point we want to be every game. And uh, I feel, you know, we came in in Edmonton. I thought we play played our game, and we didn't let them like having too many chances. To. How do you feel like the communication between you and Huska has evolved uh, over the past little bit? Yeah, it's good. I mean, um, we and Huska were, you know, we're talking a little. Bit a lot more and I think you know it was good just to you know see him in the summer kind of go through a lot of a lot of stuff and you know right now I'm just just here I try to you know to play my best and, and be the, the best I can. What, what, what were those conversations like during the summer? Are you talking about role ice time like where are you going yeah, through? I mean, it's personal I mean it's between me and, me and him but uh, yeah everything I think it's just to get on the same page and you know I think uh, right now we are. So. Is there something about your game you could, I don't know if you could pinpoint one thing or not but just the way that you're looking at your game and the way either you're having success with your scoring or positioning, is there something that uh, that you've been able to notice about what you're doing to have that success? Um, I think I'm I'm skating a little bit more, you know, than last. I think moving my feet, that's what I wanted to do. I think I'm more a threat like that, and um, you know, I think I'm playing better defensively as well. So I think my all-around game is is better this year. So. Do you feel like being a threat defensively, being on the PK, has opened up room offensively for you? Um, I wouldn't say that, but I, I think I, I touched on it before. I think being just more involved into the game, and I think you take pride in being on the PK. So that's what, I, that's what I'm doing. And you know, I want to be good offensively, but I want to be good defensively. And I think I've learned that the past couple of years. You know, even though like offensively was was harder, but I think defensively I got I got better. And I think putting everything together, I'll be a better player. Is there something about Chicago you've probably had a chance to look at some film now that you've noticed they go from being a young team to a, somewhat of a veteran team and they've had a lot of Stanley Cup championship caliber too. What have you noticed about the Hawks that present the biggest challenge for you? Yeah, I think, you know, they added some veterans this summer. So they got a, you know, good young core, but they got, you know, really good veterans. So I think, you know, they're, they're going to they're gonna play a smart game. And, you know, I think they're really good, uh, you know, off the rush. And they're, they're a good team and a lot of skills, as, as we know. But I think if we stick to our, you know, to our game, game plan, I think, uh, you know, we can be good, especially being back in, in front of our fans. What are your observations of what you've seen in Connor Bedard? I mean, he's good. I think we didn't get the chance much last year, you know, to play against him. Yeah, but uh, I mean, he's a special player. He's strong. He's, uh, you know, he's just getting more mature to the, the year goes on. And uh, I mean, he's a special player.